Gloria Starr, International Manners and Etiquette Coach. Today, let's talk about the salt and pepper shakers. In North America and Canada and parts of Europe, the salt shaker has more holes in the top for shaking than the pepper. In Asia and in the Middle East, it's the other way around. So that means that the pepper shaker would have more holes in it than the salt shaker has. And when I'm dining all over the world, on a regular basis, what I like to do prior to seasoning any food with salt or pepper is to be sure you taste it. That way you know you're not uh, insulting the host or the chef in the restaurant. So what I normally do is take the salt shaker and put a little bit in my hand. That way I can see that yes, it's really salt and exactly how much comes out. Then I could take that and sprinkle it on my food and then continue to sprinkle if I wish seasoning. The salt and pepper are a couple and they go around the table together. At a big dining room table I like to have either individual salt and pepper shakers for each person which would be resting and sitting on the table just above their dinner plate or the slightly larger salt and pepper shakers where I might have two, three or four sets on a table of 8, 10 or 12 people. This way there's no boardroom reach as they wish to have them. If someone says to you, please pass the salt, you need to remember that they are a couple and they go around it together. So you would pick up the salt and pepper shaker and pass it to that person, giving them both items and meaning that the salt and pepper would always remain together wherever it is on the table. So think about what you can do to learn as many tips and tactics about etiquette as possible. Gloria Starr, the global etiquette and manners expert of choice.